Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, My Pandora Charm Life. Uh, first, I have to make a big, huge apology for being gone for so long. Uh, my life has been pretty chaotic, uh, getting a new job, moving um, 1,500 miles away from home. Uh, yeah, just trying to get my life settled. So as much as I've been wanting to make a um, Pandora video. Uh, I've been a huge slacker and I super apologize. Um, but um, I think in one of my notes I talked about the bracelets that I wanted to showcase next and that was my ocean theme bracelet and my purple theme bracelet. So we're going to start with my ocean theme. Uh, I started creating, well I had a lot of the ocean pieces kind of just just bought them because I like them. Um, when I first started collecting, but then as I realized I was going to be leaving um, the Pacific Northwest and going more towards a desert area, um, I really wanted a bracelet that kind of represented um, being close to the water. So that's what this turned into. Um, so I have this bracelet on a oxidized chain bracelet. Um, it's a 7.1, I believe, and we will just start from the beginning. Uh, start with my mermaid so this mermaid one I got on Rue La La um, not too long ago and um, they always have this mermaid on there and I've always kind of wanted it but then I wanted the mermaid to be cuter than what it actually is but then um, gosh I think I was in Las Vegas and the outlet person was trying to sell me on it and like people always think um, it looks like the the Starbucks mermaid and I was like oh, okay well so since you make that connection and I love Starbucks um, I just felt like, yes, this, this can go on my, um, my bracelet, or I can get it. And if you look on the back of her hair, she has little stars in her hair. So I think that's a cute little added detail, um, on the bracelet. Very detailed on her fins. Um, and then, now you see her her face and she's holding what looks like a pearl, whatever it might be. So, had to get the mermaid. Uh, then the Looking Glass um, Murano bead, uh, I thought really um, complemented the mint glitter Murano that I had recently gotten, because um, I wanted it to be centered around this color. I have a Seattle two-tone spacer right here. Uh, just to represent kind of the Seattle area. Uh, the one-of-a-kind um, shell with a pearl I thought was very fitting for my ocean theme. Uh, to help complement um, the ocean theme, again, if you guys know me, you know I love my Radiant Hearts charm. Um, so I had to get the new mint one for this one as well. Uh, really excited about the uh, new collection that just released. Uh, I can't wait to get my hands on the rose um, and pink blush. Uh, what is it called again? Jeez. Radiant Hearts <laughs> Charm. Um, so I am going to get that. I'm waiting for the next promo. I'm trying to be good. Uh, here's the Sea Star clip. This one, you know, Happy Crab, is like one of my favorite. I've one of the first charms that I collected. Uh, he was retired by the time I knew he existed, so um, it was a mission to try to get this guy. Uh, I found him on authorized online retailers, uh, and so I, I ordered one, and then I saw him on another authorized retailer, and so I ordered another one <laughs> because I wasn't sure. I thought that maybe it was a mistake that it was on there, and they'd reach out to me and tell me that I couldn't get it, but um, luckily one of my friends uh, she wanted the Happy Crab too, so uh, I was lucky that I secured two. Um, but the shell, how it has the two little hearts and his happy little face and his little eyes, it's just the cutest the little Pandora symbol on the bottom. And then the mint uh, glitter Murano, which just really looks like the ocean. The glitter really looks like sand. Um, I thought this was perfect. And the seahorse, um, one of my favorite uh, things to see at the aquarium was the seahorses, and so I had to get this to remind me of that. Um, moss, I just thought would go well with this. Uh, the octopus, um, 
really I originally got it because it reminded me of my daughter um, it was like one of her first words she learned how to say we had a little um, bath thermometer um, and it was an octopus bath thermometer and um, that was like her bath playmate and she knew it well and that was she that was her first one of her first words and it was a long word for a little one-year-old so um, originally got it for that um, but then um, going back to my aquarium of where I used to live uh, they had like a giant octopus that I would like to go see as well so uh, both of those meanings and it fits well in my ocean theme bracelet uh, the crazy clip um, I just I didn't want to sometimes I want my clips to match again sometimes I don't I don't know what makes me decide one way or another um, I may end up getting another one of these at some point but I thought that this kind of reminded me of water too uh, so I thought I would go good on here. Uh, oh shoot, now I don't know if this is called Sea Star or this is called Sea Star. Either way, um, the little starfish uh, has that kind of teal mint color that helps complement uh, this, this, the color of this bracelet. And then my Russian fairy tale fish. Some of you noticed when I um, showed my fairy tale bracelet that I moved my fairy tale fish. Um, I did. I just, he had to go on here. How can you have an ocean theme bracelet without a, um, without the fairy tale fish? Uh, somebody did ask, they wanted to see the hallmarks and kind of a close up of the fairy tale fish because there are a few fakes out there. Um, I don't know everything you would look for in fakes, but here you go if you're watching. Um, you have the ALE on this side, the S95 on this side, just under this fish's cute little cheeks. Um, yeah, I hope you can get a close look to kind of see, you know, if you get your hands on one of these, is it the real thing? Um, okay. I'm watching a video show. I'm, I'm making a video show. We just got interrupted by my little Presley. She came out here looking for, looking for me. Let me, give me one second. Okay, I am back. Uh, I have the other Seattle Spacer uh, on this side, and then the, is it the Latisse Murano? Either way, I thought it looked like fish scales, so again, thought it was perfect. Uh, the ship, I originally got to represent um, my first cruise, it was a Greek cruise, so it was on my travel theme bracelet, but again, if you watch my other videos, you know I'm not in love with my travel theme bracelet, so uh, it did not hurt my feelings to pull it off and um, put it on here. And then the um, the ocean theme, or the ocean breeze, open works at the end of this bracelet. Uh, one of my favorite bracelets, I know they're all my favorite bra bracelets, I probably say that a lot, but um, here you go. This is my ocean theme bracelet. Uh, I wore it a lot this past week as I was moving, because it was just Again, kind of remembering, you know, where I was moving from. No more water from where I'm at now. It was all desert. Um, so, that's that. Moving on, um, one of my first videos talked about some of the purple pieces that I was collecting. Um, not going to go into these in detail because I think in one way or another I've probably talked about these charms on videos. Um, but, see how it kind of ended up. Um, this is my purple. Really just kind of decorative. Um, not a lot of character beads. Uh, some hearts, some flowers, but just a lot of mostly bling. Um, so I love to wear this when I'm wearing purple or um, if I'm wearing black, I like to wear this too. So there you have it. There are my ocean themes, my purple themed bracelet. Uh, I hope to hopefully be able to get this uploaded because my computer is currently in storage. So if this gets up today, then we know I succeeded. Um, all right, thank you guys and thank you for thank you for watching. Um, sorry I've been absent for so long. I'm gonna try to try to get this thing going back again once I'm in my actual home. Um, but yeah, it was great talking to you guys. Have a good one.